Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade this 18.1 inch screen from a 6 CCFL to our UB100 series LED kit. This is a kind of old screen but it's still uh, quite popular in those uh, gaming industries. It's 18.1 inch, it's made by <coughs> Chi Ming. The part number is M180E1-L02. Again, the part number is M180E1-L02. It's an 18.1 inch screen with original six lamps. Well, three on top, three on bottom. So our LED kit comes with, uh, you know, it's a two aluminum foil, connectors, and our newest version, version six controller. This version six controller, if you don't want to use it and enable, make your job simple. Um, you know, uh, you can just short out this, there's a J jumper 2, which is J2, and you just short it out, and then you just connect a positive and negative voltage, then LED light will fire up. Okay, let me set aside this kit first, and then take a look at this screen. Um, this screen is, again, it's a little bit old, but it's quite easy to replace it. First, we have to remove the reflector, we do not have to remove this assembly, the whole this assembly like other, other type of the screens. Okay, let's put it this way. So there's one screw here on each side, just holding the reflectors. You just unscrew this screw, okay? Set that aside. Then just hold the wires slowly. Okay, you can hold like this, slowly just. This button too, this, I mean, uh, hold the wire. This is plastic kit, push it down. There we go, slidey. Take it out, one's out. Okay. Do the same thing on the other one. Basically, just remove the screw. Okay. And then hold it like this. Pull it down this one. Okay, here we go. Let me put it this way, it's much easier. Okay. Just pull it out. See that? Okay. Now the reflectors out, top, bottoms. If you look at really carefully this reflector, and actually this reflector is mounted on a piece of L-shaped aluminum foil, uh, aluminum frame. So all we need to do, we had to, in order to mount this here, we're gonna remove this reflectors. There's one small screw here, and that was uh, holding the reflector. You're gonna see it later, so remove it. Okay, remove it, and then you kind of push it because there's a latch here. Grab the wire again. Okay, push this one down. Okay, okay, this is plastic. So remember, this is the wire comes out from this side. Okay, so you take it out. We don't need to use this. All we need to do just mount right back here and slide slide back. But before we do that, we're gonna test the light. See if it's all light up before we do we install inside of the reflectors. Okay, so we'll test it. Perfect. Everything's good. So now the wire is on this side. Okay, so we're gonna put it this way. Now we're gonna get this one back and try to kind of you know put it back. So we're gonna put it, try to position how we're gonna mount this in between. So we should mount it like around like this. Okay. So basically, we should mount it somewhere here. That's perfect, right? So next thing, easy. Peel out the double side tip cover. Okay. I think that's. That's it. All right. Slice right back. The size is easier for me to do it this way. Okay. Just slide back. Okay. Put the screw back. Okay, we're gonna do that this one too. So basically the same exact procedure. Uh, pull 
which just click a little bit here to plastic things. Set aside again, kind of find out the precision here a little bit. So you should mount it like, like this. Yeah, it's good. All right, so again, remove the double side tip covers, and then we're going to put it right there. Okay, I'm gonna slice back like the first one. Okay, okay, hold it like this, it's easier. Okay, put the screw back. Next thing, we're gonna make sure the wire come out the side to add a couple of the tips that to uh, secure these wires. Okay. Okay, maybe it's better for you to see this side. Okay, do the same thing on this side. Last thing, we need to cover this, make sure the light won't bleed in now. So we're gonna use this, cover like something like this, okay? So, all this, I'm gonna cut it, it's too long. So I'm gonna use it in half, okay? See this? Do the same thing on another end, not on the other side. Oops. Here we go. Okay. If you want to, you can add this side too, but that that should be enough. Okay. That's it. It's quite simple. No solder involved. It's easy to install, and now you get a sunlight readable screen. Even though the screen's old, but it's pretty bright. Thank you for watching.